you can be among the biggest symbols in the world and still be the subject of much misinformation. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 myths about Superman. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the biggest misconceptions and incorrect assumptions people tend to make about Superman. Number 5. He's always been super likable. Superman, despite being an alien from a distant planet, has a whole lot of faith in humanity. And in many ways, he's also a reflection of the very best of what humanity has to offer. Though it might come as a surprise to many, he hasn't always been such an upstanding citizen. In his early days of publication, he was written as being a much more aggressive, antagonistic, and downright careless character. Like when he destroyed a low-income area to solve petty crime at its root, or went on a car wrecking rampage after a friend got hurt in a car accident. How about that time he nearly got Batman killed by framing him for witchcraft? Number 4. His disguise is just a pair of glasses. What happened? I guess I must have fainted. Fainted? <laughs> you fainted. Sorry. Thankfully, Superman has outgrown much of the overly simplistic and short-sighted thinking that characterized his early comics. He kept the glasses, though. While people often scoff at Clark Kent's disguise and the absurdity of this being the only thing separating his face from Superman's, research has actually proven that glasses do affect our ability to recognize a face. But that misses the more important point. His disguise isn't just a pair of glasses, but rather the entire Clark Kent persona. What Kent wears, the glasses, the business suit, that's the costume. That's the costume Superman wears to blend in with us. His anonymity relies on the fact that, despite the facial similarities, people are incapable of associating the powerful Superman with such a mild-mannered, unremarkable journalist. It's an interesting commentary on human perception, and actually, a kind of brilliant disguise. Lois Lane. Welcome to the planet. Glad to be here, Lois. Number three, he could bring about world peace if he was more assertive. Yes, Superman's abilities mean that he can do the impossible. Add to that his unflinching moral compass, ignoring those messy early years, and you don't just have an agent of change, but a potential bringer of world peace. Superman hasn't failed to solve the world's problems because of a failure to assert himself, though. He's a source of hope and a physical force, but hope and action can only do so much. He doesn't have the power to change minds. Short of him seizing control of the world and becoming a dictator, his ability to change the world is actually pretty limited. For further proof, see Superman Peace on Earth or Red Sun. Number 2. He's the strongest DC character It's easy to understand where this misconception comes from. Superman is a nearly invulnerable being who can catch bullets, fly, and survive getting nuked. Really, where else is there left to go from there? Though Superman's power level may seem unsurpassable, that is far from being true. Apart from kryptonite, he's also very vulnerable to magic, which kind of operates on a scale of its own in the DC Universe. As such, numerous magic-based characters are arguably stronger, including Doctor Fate, the Spectre, Phantom Stranger, and of course, Shazam. Then you've got matter-manipulating heroes like Captain Atom and Doctor Manhattan. Don't even get us started on cosmic beings and gods in the DC Universe. Superman is powerful, but not unparalleled. Number 1. Superman Doesn't Kill When Superman took Zod at his word and killed his fellow Kryptonian under threat that Zod would never stop his rampage, there were gasps heard in theaters around the world. Many fans angrily took to social media, expressing feelings of betrayal that Superman had broken his cardinal rule and taken a life. We get where they're coming from. Superman, as a general rule, doesn't kill. But this wasn't the first time he'd taken a life. Heck, it wasn't even the first time he'd taken General Zod's life. In 1988, he killed a depowered Zod in two cohorts via kryptonite execution. It was an action that weighed heavily on him afterward, but one he took nonetheless. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.